Alrighty, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a video encoder speed test. So what I'm going to be doing is putting Intel's QSV or QuickSync video or QuickSync up against NVIDIA's NVENC system within Handbrake to produce a H.265 MP4 output. So what I'm going to do here is just run through the basic setups and then we'll observe what happens as far as the time is concerned that it takes both engines to produce the output. So first off is the input file here. So as we can see, let me just have a little gander at this, hold on. If we go to properties, I'll have a look at details. Well actually first off, it's just over 73 gigabytes in size and it is just over nine minutes long it is 4k uhd it is 25 frames per second it's also actually got uncompressed pcm audio in it at 48 kilohertz as well now this particular file is actually a intra-frame codec so basically what that means it's like the equivalent of all iframes which basically makes it a very high-end production codec and the codec in question here is the hqx codec which is the master output files that i generate from my nle which is edius okay and then as far as let's see some of the basic information about the card and the encoders and stuff like that in display options I've got the UHD Graphics 630 and that is a part of the processor which is the Intel i9-9900K so that's what I'll be using for doing the QuickSync variant and then as far as the GPU is concerned or the add-on GPU as it were I'm using an RTX 2080 Ti so that's going to give me the NVENC option so the first thing to do here now is to just bring in the file and then I'll kind of set it up now, just to be clear here, this is not a tutorial on how to use Handbrake, so I won't be kind of slowing down and explaining things, because I usually talk too much, and then if I start going off on tangents, yeah, we all know where that goes. So what I'm going to do here, to start off, I'm going to choose a preset, so I'm going to go to an NKV one, and then I will just kind of alter this to my own preferences. So I'm going to change MKV to MP4. Um, I don't have anything at all you know, against MKV. It's a fantastic container. It's just for my particular use, MP4 is a bit better. These settings here are best for me. Dimensions, just to make sure that I've got UHD coming in and I've got UHD going out. The other settings are perfectly fine. Go to filters, and I'm gonna switch off these two for the start. Okay, I'll go to video. Now, what I'm gonna do first of all is choose NVENC, because we'll, uh, we'll do the NVIDIA one first. Frame rate, I'm going to match the output to the input, which is 25 frames per second. Also, I'm going to go to constant frame rate because I have absolutely no use whatsoever for peak frame rate. Also, this button here or this slider, this is going to determine the best possible quality that we're going to get from this particular encoder. So what I'm going to do is go to slow and slow will give us our best quality output because although this is a speed test, I want to test the speed for the best picture quality as well between both of the, the actual encoders. Now as far as encoder profile and level is set, leave them both to auto because, uh, well, Handbrake basically knows what it's doing so I'm not going to second guess it. Uh, let's see, and as far as the audio codec is concerned, I'm going to do auto pass through. So there we go. So let me just give it one last little peruse before I kick into it. Just make sure that all my settings here are all fine. Okay. So yeah, everything there all seems pretty good to me. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, oh look at this. Now this is the reason why you always double check what you're doing. Because I don't want to do a constant quality encode, I want to do a fixed bitrate one. So I'm going to go for 100,000 kilobits per second. Now you might think that this is a bit high, especially, you know, bearing in mind we're using H.265 and that is very efficient but you know we're dealing with uhd here so that is the bare minimum that i would go to for any output so you know if i was kind of be going to go into something like 50 frames or 59.94 or 60 that would be getting ramped up appropriately or proportionally as well okay so after double checking which is always a good thing because i would have like done the wrong encode there i've now fixed it at a, an average consistent bit rate of 100,000 mega sorry kilobits per second now, as far as the output is concerned, let me destination, blah, blah, that's the right place. Okay, I'm going to call this one NVENC. 
because it's the Envenken code that I'm doing. Alrighty, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna start the encoder off and then I'm just gonna speed up through the encode process and then I'll come back during the last 10 seconds of it. Okay, so coming in during the last 10 seconds there, which I nearly missed because I went to make a cup of coffee. Let's just count this down, 22, 23. So four minutes and 23 seconds was what that took there. Now, you know, I'm not gonna kind of go dissecting things here, only because, yeah, I wanna keep this short, but I'd say that that was very quick, considering you know, the file sizes or the resolutions involved and the bit rates and all the rest of it. I'd say that that was extremely fast. Now what I'm gonna do here is switch over and I will go to QSV here. Now what I'm gonna do is just double check once again, which is always a good thing because I would have messed up before if I hadn't have double checked. So I'm just gonna make sure that everything remains the same as far as the basic parameters for the test are concerned. And then what I'm gonna do is just double check here a couple of things. Let's see, so QSV, same as source. Actually, that changed. I'm gonna put it to 25. Although same as source should do the same thing. The problem is, if for any reason, handbrake kind of misses the frame rate, that could be wrong. So I always force that manually anyway. Constant frame rate, auto, auto, 100,000. Now what I'm gonna do here, just to try and match it and get it as like for like as possible. We've got three satins here for the, uh, the quick sync encoder. So we've got speed, we've got balanced, and then we've got quality. And like I said earlier on, my concern here is to get the best quality, but the fastest way of doing it. So I'll leave this on quality. Now what I'll do, let me just retitle this one, and I'll call this, let's see, QSV. Now what I'll do, I'll hit start on this one and let it get off and do its thing. And again, I will speed up through this and I'll come back at the end. Okay, so just joining this back into its last 10 seconds. Let's just see what this countdown is doing here. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So that was 14 minutes and 48 seconds for the quick sync encode. Okay, so I think basically what we can draw from here is that there are two distinct different speeds going between these two technologies for the encoding. Now, like I say, this is just gonna be a quick encoder test, nothing else, not a tutorial, and I'm most certainly not gonna start dissecting it here because there's a whole bunch of things that I could talk about to do with this, but it would just really lead on to me going meandering into a whole bunch of things which I don't really wanna do right now because I need to keep this short. But nonetheless, hopefully, this particular test has been useful for some people out there and maybe has answered the question which one is faster and all the rest of it okay so like i said from the outset this was not going to be a tutorial or anything and i wanted to keep this as like you know short as possible but if anyone's got anything to say about this please join in in the comments section to this video anyway if you've liked the video please give it a thumbs up or you know subscribe to my channel click the bell icon thing and all the rest of it for future notifications for videos anyway i'm david Harry, thank you very much for watching this video, take care and goodbye now.